AI, the thing that has taken the world by storm. Can it create a good playable game? Welcome to AI creating a game in under 30 minutes. So, is this possible? I mean, AI should be able to do this quicker than I would be. Okay, so I'm thinking for this, I'm only going to be using one script. Catch the falling objects. Okay, so GPT has created our first script. Okay, let's see this. Nice. I might want to be able to control the red square using the mouse instead. Okay, so we have got a new version here. Okay, now, okay, nice, nice, nice. Now we're actually using the mouse instead. That's actually quite cool. Okay, so we have the score in the top left. Yeah, so I might have gotten a bit carried away. But there's one thing I realized. If you don't catch one, the game still goes on. And I also want the further in you get in the game, the faster the cube's gonna fall, basically. And let's try this. Can I lose? Damn, that was actually not a bad. But then, is it going faster is my question. Um, I have two problems. So first of all, you can't continue playing. The second problem, yes, the cubes fall faster, but they don't spawn faster. Okay, let's see here. Okay, nice, nice. We have a press space to restart. It works. Cool. Okay, so this is what GBT has got done in 10 minutes, just 10 minutes for us. Okay, so now I'm asking if it can save the high score. How fun is it to play a game without a high score? Okay, so let's try that out. So this is basically what 30 minutes of GBT gets you. And if we try to die, like immediately, it says high score 4. Perfect. So if we're trying to get a new high score, we get final score 5, high score 5. But isn't it kind of odd how you get straight into the game? So should we get a main menu maybe? Catch the falling objects, press any key to start. Alright, cool. Okay, this is actually kind of hard now, what the hell? Okay, wait, 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 hang on a second. This is actually kind of hard. So, while I'm editing my videos, I'm using this... I'm using this thing in editing pack, and I do have a ding sound effect. Wouldn't it be fun to play that every single time you caught one? Ouch, that hurt my ears. Okay, so now apparently it should not be as loud. So sure, it's still loud, but bearable. So basically we're done right now, but I just want to ask if GBT has any other features it would want to add on its own. It said background music, so okay, we're gonna need a background.mp3, right? Can I add my own? I made something the other day because I was bored. Okay, so here we go. If this works, the final one is around 141 lines of code and should have background music as well. All right. I haven't tried now that the background music goes on repeat, but hey, I don't care, right? This was actually quite fun in my opinion. In the description of this video, you can find a download link where you can download this whole project file if you want to check it out yourself, want to play around with it. I haven't touched the code at all, GBT has done everything. So if you want, you can copy this code, give it to GBT and ask it to add more features or if you want to add more features yourself, but the project will be in the description if you want to check it out. Smoke weed every day. We had a school project a little less than a year ago where we was supposed to create a game using just ChatGPT and we can analyze the code and everything like that. It made a terrible version of tic-tac-toe and it's kind of crazy to see how far we've come. We created a catch the whatever it decided to call the game catch something. You can do a lot of things using AI nowadays and it's quite crazy in my opinion. But hey, it was a fun challenge this, right? And I'm gonna do a few more using ChatGPT to generate different things. So if you want, maybe, I don't know, maybe you wanna subscribe, I don't know, I'm not gonna force you, but maybe you wanna subscribe and watch that. But yeah, that was everything.